everybody. Uh, well, I'm, uh, we're getting ready to finally put our new chain plates on. Uh, these are the uh, old gussets. Uh, it's hard to tell what we're looking at because we've been working on it, but you can see here, essentially what they used, what they did originally was they put the chain plate through the deck, bolted it to a uh, composite board, and then glassed over the board and the chain plate. So we had to uh, grind in to get to those bolts to take the old chain plates out. And uh, what we're going to do now is because we want to be able to inspect the chain plates and see if there's corrosion, as well as we want oxygen to get to the 316 stainless steel that it's, they're made out of so that they can not corrode, um, we're going to just bolt them to the outside of these gussets. Um, but to do that, we had to fare them with some uh, thickened epoxy. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now is just putting a whole bunch of thickened epoxy into the slot where the old chain plate used to be and then I'm putting it on the outside as well to fare it and then uh, finally we get the board which Desiree will grab me right now. Got a little board that uh, is just the right shape for the gusset. Put a plastic bag over it like this and then once I get enough uh, epoxy on here just to save us time, we make it perfectly flush and fair by just kind of working this board here until all the excess epoxy is squeezed out and I can feel it kind of rubbing up against a little bit of the glass. And then I just take the board back off. And then Desiree, if you can wrap around here, you can see it's nice and flat right here. Uh, so tomorrow when we pull that plastic, it'll be perfectly flat and smooth and uh, ready to accept our uh, new chain plate as well as backing plates that are going to go on the other side of the gusses. Uh, this one went really well. So did the other couple that we did today, but uh, the other day we did the ones way back there uh, in the back of the bilge in the after part of the boat where it's incredibly hard for me to get. And you can see that looks really, really uh, sloppy. And that's just because we were using a slow hardener instead of extra slow. Um, and uh, the slow hardener was just starting to cure before I could fully compress this board onto it. So essentially little globs of epoxy started to cure first and that made it uneven. So we'll have to go back there and sand it real good and maybe put a little bit more epoxy on it. We'll see if it's fair enough after we sand it. but. Most of them turned out really well, and I think we'll be ready for uh, chain plates right away. So the next step is just going to be cutting up through the deck to make the new slots for the chain plates. I figure the best way to do that will be to use our multi-tool with the flat blade and just pretty much get a flush cut with the new fared surface that we have through the deck, and that'll at least give us an idea of where the slot's going to need to be, and then we can get creative from there. Anyway, I'm sure we'll have an update for that once we get to it, but uh, these gussets are finally starting to be done, which I'm happy about. All right, see you guys.